The market for Android tablets has never been strong, but when it comes to Amazon's lineup of Fire tablets, we're big fans. Starting at just $50, the Fire tablets are great devices for browsing the web, watching your favorite streaming shows, or just hanging out around the house. While the devices do run Android, they don't come with Google's own suite of Android software. If you're looking to install YouTube, Gmail, Google Docs, or any other Google app, you'll need to start by installing the Play Store. Let's take a look at how it's done. You'll need a few things to begin. Earlier methods for installing the Play Store required a PC to push commands to your device, but for this guide, all you'll need is your Fire tablet along with four APK files from APK Mir linked in the description below. You'll also need a Google account to log into the Play Store. To begin, ensure your Fire tablet is running the newest software by heading into Settings and checking for an update. Our device is running Fire OS 5.6.2.0, the newest version as of the creation of this video. And while we're using a 7-inch Fire tablet to install this, it will also work on both the 8-inch and 10-inch versions as well. After checking if you're on the latest version of Fire OS, dive back into Settings, select Privacy and Security under the Personal category, and toggle Apps from Unknown Sources on. Hit OK on the confirmation prompt, then exit back to the home screen. This allows us to install those APK files from APK Mir to our device. The next step is the big one. Four APK files are needed to be installed on your device for the Play Store to work properly, and it's important to choose the four files that are correct for your device. These can be downloaded and installed right from the browser on your Fire tablet. It's important to install them in the correct order, so make sure to follow these steps closely. To start, download the Google Account Manager. Fire OS devices run on a modified version of Android 5.0 Lollipop, so while the linked version is not the most up-to-date version of the application, it's important to install a version that runs on Android 5.0 and above. Download the APK from APK Mir, but don't install it just yet. Instead, leave the notification inside your notification tray for the time being. Next up is the Google Services Framework. Like before, download the linked version in the description below. Make sure to load the version listed below, then download the APK to your device and leave the notification in your tray once more. The third APK is for Google Play Services, and it's a little more complicated. While the 7-inch Fire tablet uses a 32-bit processor, the newest Fire HD 8 and Fire HD 10 tablets use 64-bit processors, which means you'll need a different app depending on the device. If you're using a 7-inch Fire tablet, make sure to use the 32-bit version of Google Play Services listed below. For the 8-inch and 10-inch devices, make sure to use the 64-bit version. Finally, install the newest version of the Google Play Store APK. The newest version as of writing is linked below, but you may need to select a newer version depending on when you're watching this video. With the four APKs installed on your device, you can finally begin installing the software on your Fire tablet. The order in which you install these onto your device is very important, so make sure to install the apps in the right order. Begin with installing Google Account Manager, which should be at the bottom of your notification tray. Hit Next on the installation screen, then hit Install. As long as the version you're installing is meant for Android 5.0 devices, you should have no issues installing the app on your tablet. Repeat this process for the three remaining apps in the order you downloaded them. Google Services Framework, followed by Google Play Services, and finally, the Google Play Store. Make sure not to open these apps when they finish installing. Just hit Done and move on to the next app. Both Play Services and Play Store take some time to install on your device, so don't try to cancel the installation or turn off your tablet if it seems to be taking a while. The entire installation process shouldn't take longer than about 5 minutes total. With the four apps installed on your tablet, it's time to reboot your device. When your tablet has booted back to the lock screen, we're ready to set up Google Play. Head to your list of apps and select the Google Play Store. Google will ask for your account information and whether you want to back up your app data to Google Drive. Once you've set up your account, you'll be able to access the Play Store and can install any Google-only application you want. If this guide helped you, check out these other videos you might like, and subscribe to Tech Junkie for brand new tips, tricks, and guides every day.